welcome dudes it's Mr Wickwheel and I'm being new with you and um, this time around it's for Dakota Ray's new film um, if you've been following me around on Facebook um, you know I've been um, sharing quite a lot about it, this film up to its um, release date recently and it's if you want a copy which I say you should definitely go out and get and over to the Facebook page um, and grab yourself because it's definitely worth and also you know investigate his other films because um, they are totally worth the watch he's one of the one of the you know one of my favorite independent directors uh, around at the moment and you know more and more great things is going to come from him I'm sure um, like I said this is his latest one the dark days of Demetrius and this is based around the story of Demetrius who is a serial, is a serial killer he's also been been dubbed the name of the live stream killer um, he's been doing, been given this due to um, his live streaming of his murders you know for his fans to watch as live as as they, at, as they happen um, it also puts him on the paths of this um, CD, this CD um, reporter um, called Clive. He's played by Fred Epstein, um, and he's one of these really sleazy cokehead. Um, doesn't care who who, ups, who, who, who he upsets. You know, he, he, all he wants is real news and to, to get popularity out, popularity out of it. Um, he buys all these footage of these murders and dead bodies to upload to his website and like I say it gains traffic to his own website and that's all he sort of cares about as well and you know and these two cross paths and these sort of um, fucked over fucked over um, the live stream killer and this sort of upsets him obviously and then he puts him on the path of a murder and mayhem which sort of spirals out of control until he um, gets to Clive and does what he needs to do to him. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, you're gonna have to find out yourself more about the store, um, about the film by going over to the web um, Facebook page and buying it yourself. Totally recommend it. So yeah, my thoughts. Yeah, like I said, yet, yet again, this is one of the darkest ones he's of, uh, of these films I've seen so far and uh, I really did enjoy it it has all the same sort of um, sort of ways that he shoots his film you know it's sort of it's, he has his unique style like I've mentioned in his previous films he has his unique style of editing cinematography and it's always um, he likes filming in the dark and you know and it sets the film um, right um, also with his lot of his films he does a lot of narrating which fits perfectly because you know it's um all your films follow a serial killer and you you know you get into his psyche more if he narrates the films and it and it works well and like with many of his other films he, he has a great cast you know they all seem to be good friends as well and to go with it he has the tied up naked chick just what i love in all about, about his films also and it's best i like my girls also um so good one there dude so yeah, totally. Um, I will totally recommend you grab these films. If you've seen these previous films, you won't be upset with this. You know, you'll be well impressed in what he's done here, and it's definitely worth your time. So yeah, again, dude, you've done well, and keep 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 them coming, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, I'll keep the link, put the link underneath, so you can go over to the um, Facebook page and you know contact the Dakota himself. But for now, dudes, I'll catch you later.